Hi, I'm Carrie, and over on my Carrie KH channel, where I usually upload computer science projects, I've been moving away from artificial intelligence slash machine learning stuff for about a year now. And I could talk at length about why that's been happening, but that's not really relevant for this video, so I'll skip over it. I just want to say that just because I've been moving away from AI doesn't mean that I've abandoned it entirely. And I'm actually thinking about starting a project where I, I use StyleGAN2 um, on this different data set. And I don't want to say what that data set is because that would spoil the whole project. But I'm running into a lot of problems and I figured I could make this video as a call for help to see if anyone else out there might have more experience with StyleGAN or PyTorch or Ubuntu stuff. I don't really know. And I know that this is a weird place to ask for help because humany as a channel, it seems like there's two very distinct groups of people. There's the BFDI kid fans, and there's also the people who are interested in AI, and there's not much overlap. I mean, it's, I'm glad you're like, you guys are all here, so um, that's great. But um, just because I've been working on BFDI more than AI stuff in the recent past, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone in the comments was from the BFDI group and didn't really know what's going on here, which is fine, but I figured, um, I don't know, it's still worth a shot just to ask. So I should just cut to the chase and uh, say what's been going on. Um, so I think it's really cool that NVIDIA, which is a private company, I'm pretty sure, released the StyleGAN2 source code, open source, on GitHub. Um, so that's pretty cool, but it was released last year, 2019, and it uses TensorFlow 1.14. And I think in 2020, Google upgraded to TensorFlow version 2.0, which StyleGAN2 will not work with. So me, having only downloaded StyleGAN2 now, I have to make sure I don't install the most recent version of TensorFlow, and kind of as a chain reaction, I can't install the most rec recent version of Python because that's not going to work with an old version of TensorFlow. So it creates this whole mess where I have to make sure all the versions are compatible. Um, so it's like, not Python 3.8, you need 3.6, so that you can get not TensorFlow 2.2, but 1.14, so that you can finally get this StyleGAN thing to work. Um, by the way, I, like, I won't cover all the problems I've been dealing with, because I figure if anyone in the comments actually knows what's going on, you can just message me. Like, we can join up on the Ace Twin STEM Discord server, which I guess I'll link in the description or something. And then we can talk about it more in depth because then it'll be more, more of an interactive communication. But I'll just go over the basics here. So StyleGAN2, um, all these weird version stuff with Python and TensorFlow and whatever. Um, I feel like I got it to work. It was only spouting warnings at me, which are not real errors. I know that's, that's a bad programming trope, but whatever. So I think I got that to work, but what I didn't get to work was this thing called XLA GPU. So when, um, when StyleGAN is looking for GPUs to use, it's going to go through all your devices and see what type they are. And if they can't find a single one with GPU, then it reports an error. No GPU devices found. I have a GPU in my computer. It's a GTX 1080. And that has served me pretty well for other AI projects in the past. But this time around, it couldn't find anything. So I was like, why not? It's still there. Well, it was labeling the GTX 1080 as an XLA GPU. So I searched that online, and that stands for Accelerated Linear Algebra GPU. And it's this technique that TensorFlow does. I think it has to do with clustering multiple GPUs. I don't really know. Um, to make, I guess, linear algebra operations faster through GPUs, and they report something like a 20% speed up. So I could see why they would want to do that. But I don't know if it's because StyleGAN2 was written in the past, or maybe this isn't super prevalent everywhere, but StyleGAN2 saw that this device was labeled XLA GPU now, and that doesn't equal GPU, so it said, I haven't found any GPU units. Crash. So I couldn't get it to work. So I just went into the code and I essentially said, if you're an XLA GPU, just count that as a GPU anyway and proceed as if nothing's wrong. And so I kind of bypassed that warning, except then it crashed later somewhere deeper in the code 
with more stuff I didn't understand. So I figure like it like maybe I should take those warnings seriously or maybe there's just something else wrong in the whole system. Maybe XLGPs are totally fine and there's some other issue that I just am completely unaware of. So that's the first issue. I'm saying the word issue a lot. Hmm. Anyway, I just decided this whole thing is frustrating working with a repo written on old technology, which is not that old. It's not even a year old. So I decided to switch to the PyTorch version just because I, just because I don't think PyTorch has had a substantial upgrade as much as TensorFlow 2.0 did. Maybe PyTorch is a little more stable. So I tried downloading the PyTorch version. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long. Basically, that didn't work either because you have to convert certain files from the TensorFlow version into the PyTorch version, um, especially the weight file, the file that has the network weights, I think. Um, and in order to do the conversion, you need to get the TensorFlow thing to convert it in the first place, and then that TensorFlow thing will again say that XLA GPU is not a GPU warning. And I couldn't really find any um, Stack Overflow questions online on how to disable this XLA GPU stuff just because I don't think um, it's that common. Okay, this video is getting kind of long and I think any more stuff that I would talk about, I should just do it in, in like a Discord thing. I don't really know. Oh, th this is here to interest you BFDI people. Um, so yeah, all I really want is to get style, style GAN to work. I don't know if I even have the right specs because I, I only have a GPU that has eight gigabytes of memory and they say you need a, a graphics card with 16 gigabytes at least. Um, so maybe I'll just need to buy a new computer entirely. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, okay, if you have any semblance of expertise in this field more than me, then just message me, comment about it, or I guess go to the H2 and Central, or H2 and STEM Discord, and we can discuss it further, because I think, um, it would be cool to make one more AI project and upload it to Carrie KH and see what people think. Okay, bye.